big day, July 24, 1993. It's Holly Moving Day. I better do that.
There's Commissioner Bruce Reeder and his grandson. Take your picture. Return to Myersville. Old number 150 comes to Myersville after an absence of a half a century. There it is. Too far apart. Huh? Too far apart.
Sports with Susanna Nolte Durham. Weather with Dave Barnhart. Sports with Carla Moore. Good evening. A local hiker has begun his recovery after falling from a cliff just off the Appalachian Trail in Washington County. Officials say the Hagerstown boy fell 25 feet today from a popular scenic overlook called Annapolis Rock. Rescue officials say the 16-year-old was hiking along the trail when he decided to get a better look of Washington County from this outcropping of rocks. He ended up plunging 25 feet into the trees below. We sent rescue personnel up to the scene uh, via four-wheel drives. It took emergency crews more than three hours to find and then rescue the man, while a state police helicopter struggled to spot him in the thick grove of trees. A state park copter called Eagle One prepared to lift him out. Generally, we try to bring him back down the trail by four-wheel drive, but due to the nature of injuries, uh, we classified the patient as a priority one with head trauma. We decided it was best to make a, a pickup off the mountain with Eagle One from the park police. Sexton says this is the first time someone has fallen from Annapolis Rock in years, but he says any grouping of rocks like it poses a danger to sightseers. Keep in mind uh, their own safety and stay away from the, the outcroppings because those rocks do get slippery especially in the early mornings when the temperature changes and it's easier to fall. A hospital spokesperson declined to give the boy's name. He is in fair condition at Washington County Hospital. Maryland taxpayers could end up paying millions of dollars because developers are defaulting on low-income housing loans backed by the federal government. The Department of Housing and Urban Development insured mortgages on 355 privately owned multifamily housing developments in the state. The loans show an unpaid balance of nearly one and a half billion dollars. Officials say 43 of the projects are in trouble and that the number is expected to rise. The problems are being blamed on years of mismanagement, abuse by tenants, understaffing at HUD, and a soft rental market. Well, an historic trolley may have been stopped at its tracks, but one local man is getting it going in another way. We'll show you how, coming up. For the Sentra, this model year is coming to a close. Stop by your Nissan dealer today, because the limited edition Sentra is just that, limited. The stock market continues to look attractive. As the juice market gets squeezed, bananas gain appeal, while lemons were actively traded in the pits. And tomatoes took a healthy slice peaches took a bath as apples remained a favorite pick. Food Lion. The freshest produce at the best market prices allow you to stock up Get ready for the concert event of the year. Oldies 106.9 proudly presents the four tops and the temptations. Live in concert under the stars at the Hagerstown Fairgrounds Arena, Sunday, August 1st. Two legendary Motown supergroups in one fabulous night of entertainment. The four tops and the temptations. For tickets, call 301-790-2000 or 1-800-34-SHOW. The four tops and the temptations at the Hagerstown Fairgrounds. Presented by Oldies 106.9 FM. A Western Maryland man is hoping to preserve a part of the area's history by restoring a trolley that used to make runs through Myersville. Workers moved the trolley from Frederick this weekend to Donald Easterday's backyard. Peter Bickford has more. Donald Easterday says this is the high point of his hobby, the old number 150 coming back to Myersville after half a century. The trolley was one of a whole fleet that served the Maryland area in the first half of the century. They made stops throughout the Hagerstown, Frederick region. This woman used to ride the trolley to school. I'm looking at the windows and it was uh, especially nice when it was warm and put those windows up. And... The trolley has been perched on a Frederick mountainside since its last run in 1954. Workers carried it on a flatbed truck down a mountain trail Saturday along Route 40 and then to Easterday's backyard. 
Easter Day is planning to restore the trolley, turning it into a museum of sorts. I just wanted to share it with the community and hopefully uh, it might be uh, a factor in bringing the community together, that is in sharing a common part of our heritage. Easter Day says he became interested in buying the trolley after he discovered that his home was the epicenter to the entire trolley system. He says that makes it all the more fitting that old number 150's last stop was in his backyard. In Myersville, Peter Bickford, News 25 Alive. Pennsylvania Governor Robert Casey says he plans to leave the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center this week. The governor is in good condition.